hello everyone welcome back to my channel guys today's video is gonna be a little bit different it's not gonna be like a full vlog it's definitely gonna be like a sit down video because i want to talk to you guys about something as you can tell by the title or maybe you can't tell i had gotten a gastric balloon <laughs> so let me go ahead and explain this to you guys um I got it back in November of 2019 and at that time I wasn't really filming or vlogging like that so I didn't get to like capture like you know step by step my full experience with it but I wanted to come on here and talk about it and talk th about the things I experienced and like my results and how I feel about the overall concept of the balloon. Now, I don't really know how this video is gonna go. <laughs> I literally just turned on the camera and started talking because I've been wanting to talk to you guys about this, but I've just been all over the place and so busy with work and everything like that. I definitely wanted to share this with you guys because it's something that I feel like not a lot of people talk about and something that's not really known. So I wanted to take the opportunity and share my experience so that you guys can kind of, you know, learn a little bit and then decide you know if this is something that you're thinking about if that's something that you want to go with and what's the difference between that and like a gastric bypass surgery so i actually recently got it removed i got it removed january of 2021 so i had the balloon in for about 13 months 13 14 months i did the um entire process in the dominican republic just because it was cheaper out there and the cost here is like around ten thousand dollars or so what i've heard from my research versus in the dominican republic i paid like three thousand <laughs> so it was like i saved a lot a lot of money but i'm gonna go ahead and start at the beginning if you guys have been following me on instagram or you guys has, have known me for a while i don't know if i've really spoken about it on my youtube channel but i am you know i used to be i'm still working on it but very insecure about my weight ever since i could remember like ever since i was a child i was always like the bigger one out of my friends and the bigger girl at school and so i always grew up with that insecurity about my weight i was heavier so i always grew up with that um and it's always been like a struggle in my life of you know the weight gain the weight loss i've did try many diets you know during my later teen years early 20s you know where i would put my body through extreme situations and i did lose the weight but of course as soon as i was off of that then i would gain it right back and because it's been such a insecurity of mine like my weight affects a lot it, it it affects not only my appearance but the way i feel about myself it also affects my mental health so there's a lot of things that go into play with that and you know just as everybody everybody has some insecurities about themselves some are worse than other than others some are bigger than others for me like i said i had always lost weight and then gained it again lost weight then gained it again in november of um 2019 uh the reason why i decided to go ahead and go through with the gastric balloon well let me let me backtrack i'm trying to see how i can make an example for you guys but i don't know so i'm just gonna use this i was playing with some balloons but let's just say this is the entire surface of your stomach this is your stomach um and basically what they do is they put a silicone balloon inside of your stomach to occupy space so now when you have this balloon in there you can no longer eat for this size of a stomach because you have a balloon a silicone balloon in there that's occupying this space and the whole purpose of that is that obviously so you eat less um you learn how to eat less um you learn how to um you know manage your eating habits which in turn along with nutrition and exercise will help you lose weight now before i even got the balloon inserted i did do my research i looked at some youtube videos like i said there isn't really a lot i haven't checked recently so i don't know if now there's any more but i do know that when i was researching there wasn't really a lot of content out there regarding the gastric balloon did my research in regards to my doctor in the dominican republic and i felt super comfortable with her we did a consultation and everything um we spoke about my health i got my blood work done here and i took everything i went to the yard to get the balloon inserted now the reason why i chose to go with a gastric balloon and maybe not like a gastric by bypass or a gastric sleeve is because i didn't want to alter my body in a significant way yes i did have to lose a significant amount of weight because i had gained a lot of weight my birthday that year so i'm a i'm october baby october 2019 i realized that i had 
gained the most weight I had ever gained. I was the heaviest I had ever been. And I felt completely horrible. Um, it was my birthday and I was in Cancun with my friends. And, you know, even though we were having a good time, it was a constant thought that I couldn't dress the way I wanted to dress. So I couldn't look the way I wanted to look. And it's something that always, always clouded my, my thoughts. And I believe that around that time I was weighing 200 and almost 220 i think it was 215 220 i don't remember exactly but that's the heaviest i've ever been you know like you really need to do something because you can't continue to gain weight and you know clearly me exercising and you know doing the nutrition just wasn't working anymore i felt like i needed a bigger push i needed a bigger help why didn't i go with bypass or um the gastric sleeve i didn't want something permanent I didn't want a permanent solution. I felt like what I needed was a push. What I needed was a little help in order to get myself back in routine. I, even though I had to lose a significant amount of weight, and my goal was to lose about 40, 50 pounds, which is something that happens with the gastric bypass, I didn't also want to lose it so quickly, mainly because I didn't want something permanent. I didn't want a surgery. I didn't want any scarring. I didn't want um, to go through all the things that, you know, just based on research I've seen where people, they lose a lot of nutrients, they lose their hair. And it's like you lose so much weight so fast your body is then playing catch up so i wanted to give myself the opportunity like i i thought to myself like obviously you need to push because you need to do it yourself but if it absolutely gets out of hand yes gastric surgery gastric bypass or gastric sleeve was definitely something i considered but it was absolutely like my ultimate last resort so I did my research on the balloon, did my, my, my blood work, I spoke to my doctor, everything was great. And that I need to do, I got an x-ray and spoke to a cardiologist and everything because since it's, it's not a surgery, but it is a procedure, um, you do need to go through all of those things in order to get the balloon installed. Um, a little bit about the process, I'll probably like put a picture here. I was so excited to get the balloon installed. They do put you to sleep under general anesthesia. The entire procedure from beginning to end is maybe 30 minutes, so it's not long at all. And the way that they install the balloon into your stomach, it's through an endonos endoscopy. endonoscopy. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I'll write it. Um, and basically they go in there with a the tube, they put the balloon in, and once the balloon is set in your stomach, then they fill it with like, I think it was like a saline solution that's tinted. So in case, you know, the balloon bursts or whatever happens, like you're aware you're probably gonna get, you know, a blue tongue or your um, urine looks a different color, which was which is obvious signs that the balloon has popped. The procedure to get it installed, like I said, it was pretty fast. I was in and out. The procedure is also considered to be uh, very low risk, low um, downtime as well. I think I went like on a Thursday and then Monday I was back at work. But my doctor did advise me of what would be the side effects. The side effects were definitely gonna be nausea, vomiting. Um, you were gonna have dizziness because of course, now there's a foreign object that's occupying space in your stomach. So your body is gonna try to like get rid of it or like attack it. Um, I feel like for me, it was also being under general anesthesia. There's different reactions to general anesthesia for everybody. And I kind of learned about that myself. So I remember a few hours after the installation, the insertion, I was just so tired. I came out and obviously I was in there on general anesthesia. I just wanted to go to sleep. When I woke up, I was so nauseous, so nauseous. Like, and I was, you know, trying to hold it back because I don't really like to vomit, but it got to a point where I just couldn't control it. I started vomiting significantly. The doctor did prescribe nausea medicine. And every time that I threw up, I had to drink the nausea medicine again. And at that point, nothing was sitting well in my stomach, not even water. Those first two days were rough. Um, they were very rough. I was very nauseous. I couldn't sleep at night. It was painful. Like I actually felt pain inside of my stomach because of the balloon. I think it was like the second day or the third day. I was vomiting so much. Obviously I was dehydrated. You weren't really eating. There was three days prior to the insertion where you were not allowed to eat. And my body just had a horrible reaction. I, my blood pressure dropped, my sugar dropped. And if it wasn't because of my aunt, that's a nurse that was taking care of me, like it was it was bad. It was so bad. I felt like I was gonna die. <laughs> like literally, it was horrible. And I'm like, oh my God, if this is what this is, like I do not want any part to do with this. Moving forward, that was the story for the actual insertion. On Monday, I was, you know, gonna fly back to America. I did feel very weak. 
walking um, was difficult for me. I would run out of breath. I would get dizzy. So I really try to do very minimal stuff. Now for the first 30 days, it is a strict diet and you cannot do any exercise at all whatsoever. Throughout the entire process, throughout the entire 13 months that I had it, it was just... It wasn't any nausea. The nausea was really just at the beginning, but I did get a lot of heartburn. The heartburn was horrible. Colics, I was burping like a lot. It was disgusting, it was horrible. And obviously like certain foods, um, obviously you can't eat nothing spicy or nothing too acidic, you can't have alcohol, but there were certain foods that just depending maybe on the seasonings or whatever it was used to cook, um, it would give like a bad reaction to my stomach. Overall, it was pretty normal. I would say that even though I went for that option, I didn't give it my all. Granted, I got it inserted at the end of 20. I apologize, you guys, the camera cut off. I was saying that granted, I got the balloon installed in November 2019 and then 2020, of course, we were in a pandemic. I'd like to say, I believe that my starting weight before getting the balloon inserted was 220 pounds. I believe when I got it removed it was 197 so all in all I 20 to 25 pounds um, took me 13 months to lose that I apologize guys hopefully it doesn't cut out anymore I got it installed November 2019 and of course 2020 we were living through a whole pandemic now my doctor was very honest with me from the very beginning she said this is only something that's going to help you it's not going to solve your weight issues it needs to be com combined with a nutrition plan and um, exercise and of course when i first started i was doing that i was following a nutrition plan i was working out every day and that's honestly where i lost the most significant amount of weight the entire 25 pounds or 20 25 pounds that i lost were within the first three to four months of me having the balloon installed that I lost were within the first three to four months of me having the balloon installed. Um, come March, April is when you know quarantine hit, and just with all the motions and everything that was going on, obviously, I was stuck at home. We were in a you know, gyms were closed, there wasn't really places to work out, everybody was pretty much under home orders. Going through all of that, of course, I did fall off of my nutrition. I did fall off of my um, exercise. So I 100% feel that I could have been definitely more successful and I could have lost more weight with the balloon. But um, g given the situation, you know, I did it. Um, but I do take responsibility for that. Even though what I lost was only like 20 pounds, and I, like I said, and I had the balloon for an entire 13 months, it was still a loss. You know, um, I should have lost more, but during quarantine, it's not like I gained any weight. I wasn't losing weight, but I wasn't gaining weight. Fast forward to January 2021, when I got the balloon removed, I felt like I wanted to lose weight and I wanted still to get back in shape. Now, I will post a picture before um, getting the balloon inserted, and then I'll show you what I looked like when I got it extracted. I wasn't happy still like even though i was happy that i had lost 20 to 25 pounds overall i wasn't happy with the way i was looking and i still felt like i wanted to lose more weight i still wanted to get in shape after i got it removed i did consult with a nutritionist because i am still planning to lose weight i want to go ahead and cut the video here because it can become very lengthy i'll go ahead and see if i can insert some clips about the um, remove on how that process was um, or maybe I'll save that for the next video because I do have a little bit of a story with, with what happened when I got it removed. In that video, I'll talk about also, you know, how now I plan to still lose the weight and how that's working out for me. But um, I did quickly want to show you guys what I look like today. I am filming this on February 20th. So this is what I look like today and I'll get up for you guys. And by the way, if you guys are interested in my outfit or you like my outfit, this is from Dariana Nova's Illus label. I love it. It's super soft. It's so cute. It's so chic. Even though this is technically a gym outfit, 
I like it to just, you know, hang around the house or sometimes to run errands because it's super comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, you guys. I try to post the second part soon, not only so I can talk about the extraction and that, how that went for me, but moving forward, what is my plan and what have I been doing since I returned from the Dominican Republic and got the balloon ex extracted? How have What have I been doing to lose weight and how that's been going for me? I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop it in the comments. I know, like I said, that when I was doing my research, there wasn't a lot of information out there. So I do want to be a little bit resourceful for those who are considering it or just want more information about the procedure or the process itself. Feel free to drop it in the comments. I'll try to reply to everyone. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.